Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Mukesh's Tech Space. If you are new here, I post video tutorials on AWS, LightCell, WordPress hosting, and other easy to use web hosting tools and services. I also post video tutorials on WordPress tips and tricks. So if you are interested in this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel, sharing my videos, and liking all my videos. So in this video, we will walk through setting up notification alarms for your LightCell instances. This is a feature that should notify you via SMS or by email when your instances are experiencing high uh, usage or spikes in your, in your usage. I would recommend using an external monitoring service in addition to this service as I don't believe it covers all the different outage scenarios at this point, uh, but it is available. And uh, so let's see how to set it up. So without further ado, let's get started. to do once you are logged into your LightCell dashboard is set up your notification contacts. To do that, you'll go up to account and click on account again. In your profile and contacts tab, you'll see a section called notification contacts. Here you can set up email as well as SMS notifications. Now for email notifications, those are supported in all AWS regions, but SMS notifications are only supported in certain regions at this time. So if you click on this link right here, this will give you the list of regions that SMS notifications are supported. But for now, uh, email is the only one that is widely available in all of AWS regions. So to add a notification contact, click on the add email address. You'll get a dialogue right here. Um, make sure that you are selecting the region that is running most of your LightCell instances. Now, if you have instances in, in multiple regions, uh, for example, if you have instances in Virginia as well as Ohio, Oregon, or any of these, and if you have multiple, then you'll set up contacts for each of those regions. And it could be the same email address. So click on your region. So for me, it will be Virginia, and then type in your email address and click add contact. Now what this will do is send you a verification email that you have to follow the instructions in that email to verify and validate your email address. So uh, this will have sent me an email address or sent me an email to this email address and you have 24 hours to verify it. So. Let me go ahead and check that email and I will come back to the screen in a moment. Okay, so I received my subscription confirmation email and this is what the email looks like. And all you have to do to, uh, to confirm your email is click on this confirm subscription link right here. So if I copy this link, then come back to my window here and just hit this. Once you have confirmed or clicked on that link, you will see this confirmation dialog, subscription confirmed. So now if we go back to our profile settings, it should identify here as verified. So here we go, this is verified. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you want to add notifications for other regions, then you basically just type in your email address and select the other region that you have instances running. So I could pick Ohio and then add a contact. And the same thing happens again, that you'll get a confirmation email and you just have to click on the confirmation to verify um, your email address for that region. Same thing for SMS, I'll show you. I won't walk you through the entire steps because this is not available in our re all regions. So, um, but the process is the same. You type in your mobile number and it will send you a confirmation link um, in your mobile number or probably a confirmation 
uh, code that you'll have to enter here and verify that that SMS number is valid. So you can go ahead and set that up. Okay, so once we have all your notification contacts added, verified, go back to your LightCell dashboard and you will uh, click on the LightCell instance that you want to set up alarms for. Uh, go ahead and choose metrics and then and then click on CPU utilizations and then you'll scroll down and click on add alarm. So what you want to do here is configure a notification when the CPU utilization um, is reporting something greater than the sustainable zone. So if you look at this graph up here, this area in green right here is your sustainable zone or, or that's the uh, resources that are allocated to your instance based on the instance plan that you chose when you set up this instance. Now, when the CPU starts to spike above this green line right here, which is uh, at the 5% mark, it goes into what's known as a burstable zone. And you collect burstable zone minutes as your instance is running under the burstable zone or inside the green sustainable zone. So that when you do have occasional spikes uh, in your instance, maybe due to uh, heavy traffic or if you're running some temporary or scheduled processes that spike the CPU, then built into the cost of your instance. Now, you only get so many credits of your burstable zone. So what you want to do here is set up an alarm that notifies you when your, C when your CPU has spiked above that sustainable zone and it's inside the burstable zone. Now, if it's only doing it once or twice for a duration of five minutes, it might be okay because like I was mentioning, your server may have received a lot of traffic. Your website may, ha may have received a lot of traffic at, at, in a five minute span. So you don't want to get notified for that. Or maybe you do, but uh, more often than not, that's not an issue. Uh, but if you are in the burstable zone, in this higher zone for more than, let's say, 10 minutes or maybe 20 minutes, then you want to get notified because that could mean that um, something is wrong with the, with the instance. It could also mean that perhaps you're getting attacked by a botnet. Um, and if you are getting a, a spike in CPU usage and your CPU usage is in this burstable zone for a long period of time, it could also mean that you have outgrown the um, specifications of your instance plan that you started with. So that may indicate to you that you need to upgrade your instance to the next plan because your traffic or your usage is high enough that you now need to bump into the next instance plan. So what you want to do here is you want to say that notify me when the CPU utilization is reported above 5%, greater than or equal to 5%, uh, you know, by default for two times within the last 20 minutes. So that's a good default to start with. You could modify these minutes to say, two times in the last five minutes. But again, you might get notified and you'll come back and see that it's back into the sustainable zone by the time you log in. But however, you configure this and then you wanna come down here and notify me by email. Right now, I shouldn't, I can't, I guess, yeah, it won't let me select SMS because I have not configured one, but email I have and notifications will be sent to the regional contacts in the Virginia region. So that's what we had configured and send me a notification when the alarm state changes to okay. So what you can additionally do is you'll first get a notification when the alarm has gone um, off because of the criteria that you put here. So if, it, if you got a notification when your CPU is above 5%, you can also configure it to send you another notification when it goes back down below 5% and the alarm state is in okay. Uh, status. Let's click on advanced settings and here what what this talks about if a data point is missing. So there's some documentation on this I'll link down in the description below but basically what I understand this to be is 
there are, there are times when the metric reporting might be off or it might not have enough data and what to do in that scenario. So you give, you have four options. You could say, if there is data, if there is data missing from the metrics, then assume the missing data is not within the thresh threshold. That means that you will not get an email. Uh, assume the missing data is within the threshold. Actually, I should have said the other way around. So assume the missing data is not within the threshold means that the threshold, it's gone beyond the threshold and you will get a notification. If you select the second point, assume the missing data is within the threshold. That means that uh, everything's okay, even though data is missing, just ignore it. Um, ignore the missing data. I guess that just means that whatever the alarm state is, just maintain it. And then do not even evaluate the missing data. So you can choose any one of these based on what you feel and you can try these out and see if they are generating more notifications to a few notifications um, or you just want it to handle differently based on what these settings are. Uh, for me, I'll just say uh, do not evaluate or just ignore for now and then create our alarm. And that's it. So really this alarm uh, setup process is very simple and, uh, and can help you evaluate or notify you when your servers are going beyond their capacity. Uh, again, that could mean that you are getting good spike or, or I guess uh, a positive usage in your website. And that just means that you just need to bump up to the next instance plan. But it could also mean that your there's something wrong with your website. Maybe there's a rogue plugin that's just not coded correctly and it's performing bad, uh, which causes your website to perform bad. Uh, it could also mean that you're getting attacked by a botnet. Um, so you want to pay attention, configure these alarms, get notified, and then take actions based on what you're seeing on your instance. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share this to others that might also find it useful. If you have any questions around this, please put them down in the comments below and I will try my best to answer them. And oh, before I leave, let me talk about what else in addition to this setup you should do um, to make sure you have uh, proper monitoring set up. So as I mentioned in my introduction, that this does not cover all the scenarios. So as you noticed here, right here, you have options of CPU utilization. You have options of the C CPU burst capacity in minutes and percentage, as well as incoming and outgoing net network traffic, and then the status checks. Um, I've not been very successful with the status checks. When I click on these, they're always, no matter which instances I have, they're always showing as zero. So I'm not sure how they work or perhaps they are not working correctly, but uh, I, they're not very reliable in my experience at least. Uh, so you only have limited set. As you can see here, memory is not one of those stats or metrics that gets collected. And that's because they just haven't added that feature yet. So maybe in the future, they may have memory and you can set up the same kind of notifications when you have um, over memory utilization. That could also mean very poorly written plugins or themes that you've added to your WordPress site. So um, once they add that, I think that will be really useful. But one of the items that it's not in here is when your uh, web application is inaccessible. So it's not reachable by the browser or by the general internet. So what you want to do is add an external monitoring service. And there are a couple of free ones um, I can point you to. Uh, one of the ones that I've used in the past is Uptime Robot. So if you look for, up, I think it's called Uptime Robot. Uh, yeah, Uptime Robot. And this is free. I think uh, the basic monitoring, uh, which is about five minute checks and 50 monitors, I think this is free. Uh, and you can get an email notification. It does HTTP and HTTPS monitoring. So what that will do is every five minutes, this service will try to hit your website. And if it receives a uh, HTTP response of 200, then it will think everything is okay. As soon as it receives an HTTP response of anything other than 200, it will notify you. And it does this every five minutes. You can upgrade to a paid plan to get 
um, even quicker checks and some of these other features if those are needed for you. Uh, this is one of those services that I would recommend in addition to the alarms, notifications, and light cell. Another one I think is offered by Pingdom Tools. And there may be others out there. So if any of you know of better web monitoring uh, services, note them down in the comments below. But the other one that I believe is available is Pingdom. And uh, this also provides uh, website monitoring. However, I do not believe there is a free version of this. Uh, basically, it's a uh, trial version for 14 days, and then if it, you find it useful, go ahead and sign up for one of their packages. So uh, in addition to the alarms notifications, add this notification or website monitoring as well, and that will make sure that you get notified no matter what time of the day it is, when your web application or when your website is having some issues. So that's the final thing I wanted to cover. Again, thanks for watching and until the next video, take care.